What's going on guys? Kalipas Tech here, coming back at you with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to take a screenshot with the blue V81. Taking a screenshot is a pretty easy function, but if you're new to Android or smartphones in general, it might be a little tricky because not every phone has the same method of taking a screenshot. So I'm gonna show you real quick how you do it with this phone. All you gotta do is press the power key and the volume down key and hold it for just a second until the screen flashes like this. And there we go. That's pretty much it. You can edit it from this bar. And if you miss the bar because it doesn't stay up for too long, you can find it in your notifications right here. Keep in mind, don't just press it because pressing it won't do anything. It's not gonna take the screenshot. And be sure to use the right button combination. And that again is the power key and the volume down key, not the power key and the volume up key because that does this which is a cool feature in and of itself. Prevent ringing can put your phone on vibrate mode really fast, but it's not taking a screenshot. So be sure you're pressing and holding the right keys. And once again, we're gonna go over it one more time so you don't forget the power key and the volume down key, press it and hold it like this. And there we go, we just took another screenshot. Now, since this is a really short video with a really simple function, I'm gonna show you one more thing. This feature is actually one I wasn't expecting to be on a phone like this, so it's really cool that it has it, and that is the screen recorder. Similar to a screenshot, but instead of taking a picture, you're actually recording what's going on on the screen. So what we're gonna do is open our quick menu and right here, we got the screen capture button. We're gonna turn this on and now to start the screen capture, all you need to do is press this little play button. And if you want, you can actually record a voiceover too just by hitting this button. And when this is highlighted, you're actually gonna be able to show your cursor right here, wherever you're putting your finger. So that's pretty cool. And then when you're done with it, just press the stop button and it's gonna be saved to your library just like a screenshot. But that was pretty much it. I actually didn't even know until really recently that this phone can do screen captures as well as screenshots. So that's a nice surprise. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you found this tutorial useful as well. Well, if you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot. But with that being said, I will see you in the next video.